I'm a Canadian pharmacist and here are my tips. <laughs> I'm talking about the PBC. The CPS is your friend. The CPS is your friend. The CPS is your f Basically, the whole exam is going to be based on the CPS and minor ailments. So if you really want to focus and hone in on your studying, try not to look at exterior resources unless it's for clarification. Rx Files is also a good choice if you want to have a very general overview of what is first line therapy, second line therapy, third line. It breaks it down into a really good chart if you're a visual learner. When I was studying for my PBC, I basically read the CPS maybe five times from front to back. <laughs> And then I read the minor ailments maybe three times front to back. And all in between that, I would write my notes and try and do the active recall. How much can I remember without looking at the CPS? What do I remember is first line therapy, second line therapy? What are the major side effects of it? What are the contraindications? Do these drugs have certain specifications when it comes to kidney function? What about liver function? What about in pregnancy? So yeah. CPS is your friend. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what else you'd like to know.